Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Well, you know, you guys send me a lot of requests for things that you want to see me make. One of those things is stuff for your locker. And one of the other things that I get lots of requests for are photo frames. So I thought, well, why not make a duct tape photo frame that goes in your locker? Now, this is going to be for a magnetic locker. It's going, I mean, excuse me, for a metal locker because it is going to be a magnetic picture frame. As you can see, it just sticks right on there like that. And the great thing about this is it's made in such a way that, you know, if you change your friends, you can change the photos. Or I shouldn't say that. If you get better, you know, better photos of your friends, you can put, you can change them out. So anyway, you can see how that slips in and out. Whoop. Just like that. And it goes quick as a wink right into your locker. So to make this project, you're just going to need a few things. You're going to need some duct tape, of course. You're going to need a pen, like a Sharpie pen. You're going to need some paper. Um, you can use construction paper. You can use regular paper. Or if you want to, you could make a small sheet of duct tape fabric. It's really up to you what you use for your backer. It could be even a cardboard front from a um, cereal box. It really doesn't matter, but just a backer. You're going to need a backer of some sort. Um, and then what I've got here that I'm going to be using for my magnets is I'm going to be using um, these are business card magnets that you can get at a stationery store or if you go to a crafting store you can get magnetic tape and that's basically what this is. It's just a sheet of magnet and it's got sticky on it so I'm going to be using that and what I've done is I've actually cut those pieces in half. You're going to need your photos and then this is important you need some sort of like framing material. It's going to be the plastic that you use. And what I found that works really great are these folders that you get for, you know, your presentations for, for, you know, reports and stuff like that. And usually you can find these at the stationery store pretty inexpensively. I found this one for like 25 cents. It was on sale. So these make great photo cover fronts. So what I'm going to do first and foremost, oh, need scissors too. Always need scissors and a work surface. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my photograph let me move all this stuff out of the way. Isn't that pretty? I like that paper. That's actually scrapbooking paper that I got at the uh, arts and crafts store. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my photograph and I'm basically just going to put it here on my cover and I'm going to give myself a little teeny bit on either side. Not much, just a little bit extra, like an eighth of an inch. And I'm just going to mark the corners like that. And then I'm just going to take my scissors. Now you can, if you're, if you want to use a ruler to connect your lines, you can do that or you can just use a piece of paper. It's up to you. However you want to do that. It's a little bit off there. But if you, if you don't trust yourself to cut a straight line, just use that. Zoop. And zoop. And now I'm just going to cut this out. And don't worry if you cut inside or outside of it because this is going to get covered up. And there we go. And I've cut that. Now the next thing I'm going to need is my paper backer. And you can use, what, like I said, whatever you want for your paper backer. And in this case, I'm just going to place this on top here. And I'm just going to use that as my template. And I'm just going to cut. Now I'm going to hang on to these little pieces of paper because I can use these for all kinds of different things, scraps, all kinds of fun stuff. Okay, what I'm now going to do is, to make this easier for you to see, I'm going to flip this over so, whoops, so that you can see where I put the tape. Okay, I lay this down like that and what I'm going to do for my frame is I'm actually going to leave one side open. Remember how I was able to slip things in and out? So to do that, I'm going to take a little bit of tape Oops. measure against there and I'm actually going to rip this tape longwise so that I have a little strip. I'm going to lay this strip of tape halfway on the top here so that it overlaps so the sticky overlaps onto my work surface so I'm only going to put it halfway. Now if I turn it over you can see. So see, there's sticky on the front, but then there's sticky, this is sticky, sticking over the top, because what I'm going to do is fold this over. 
and that is going to close up the top like that. Now I'm going to snip off these little extra ends. Snip there. Snip there. Now that's the only side that I'm going to do that for. Everything else is going to get attached to my paper backing. So now I lay this on my paper backing. To make it easier, I'll put it like that so you can see the white. Should make it easier to see. Okay, one more time. I'm going to rip this into thirds. And again, I will do the same thing that I did. I'm going to line it up with the edge there. Lay it over. I've got a little bit extra here, so I'm going to rip that off right now. And you can see that half of it is sticky, is on my work surface. Half of it is on the plastic. I'm not going to waste my tape. I'm going to actually use it. So what I'm going to do is do the same thing on the other side here. And I'm going to take the extra from this side that I know I'll have, just so I don't waste it. Duct tape is getting so expensive, I want to use every little bit of it. OK, so what I've done is I've cut it at the bottom here, ripped it at the bottom here, so it's just along that edge. Now I'm going to pick this whole thing up, and I'm going to flip it over and fold this over onto the back of the paper. So what it's doing is it's sealing that plastic front to that paper back. See that? Now I still have this end to seal. So what I'm going to do is take this extra piece here, and hopefully it's the right size. Yes, it is. Look at that. Put that like that. Again, sticky is folded over. And I fold it over onto itself like that, and it gives me basically a little pouch, right? And then my picture just slides right into the pouch like that. And that. Now, to magnetize it, make it stick to my locker. Hopefully you have a, a metal locker. If you have a wood locker, I guess you'd have to use uh, some blue tape. Okay, there we go. And just stick that right on the back. And see, because these have a sticky on them, they just stick right away. And there you go. And that's all there is to it. For more great photographic ideas for your locker, come and check us out at sophie-world.com.